Due date eight years ago. And in true data fashion, he is the celebratory parent of the family. So he said, Chapman, today is really your due date. You decided to come three days later, but today's your due date. What would you like to do, Chapman, to start your birthday celebrations? No, I was really early, guys. What did you say? <laughs> That they went to the apple day. didn't fall far from the tree. He wanted fried pickles. Fried pickles? And fried pickles are not all created equal, okay? There's a difference between the fried pickle chips and fried pickle spears. These two are team pickle chip. That's true. Mercy, mercy, what do you think? So, we're having um, our first... My favorite one was when Our first birthday. celebrate Chapman's <laughs> golden birthday. Golden Salem birthday. is... Um, golden thank you, birthday. Salem. So His golden birthday is in three days. So we are beginning the celebrations mm -hmm. now. And really, let's be honest, Dad, I wished his birthday celebrations were starting over there. <laughs> Someday. I tried to slip him a 20 to say Chinese food. Someday on this vlog, we will witness. We're going to have to find a really nice gourmet Chinese restaurant for me to go with there. You want to make a date there? We'll make it. Desperate times, times call for desperate measures. I made your coffee and you didn't drink it. Mama, I'm biking. Hi, Papa. Hi. Hey, guys. If y'all want to be in here and watch and talk to Pop Pop, you can, but we're not riding bikes in here. Don't fall on nothing. Exactly, don't fall. That's what Pop Pop just said. Don't fall. You want me to roll you right here so you can see better? I can't see it. <laughs> They say it's going to be a full moon tonight, Pops. It done came out early. <laughs> he said, Pops, they're calling for a full moon tonight. It came out early. <laughs> <laughs> 
Step back, Mimi. Mimi, step back. So what you are witnessing is because of the insurance claims and the house is completely torn apart, we have officially moved into the RV. But what is going on is when you're living in an RV, you have several sources of power. You have 12 volt power, which is coming off the battery and that runs lights and um, the heat, which is amazing. But for our air conditioning, you have to be on power or if you're not hooked into power directly, you have to run your power off something which is Hi. a generator for us. Well, the generator, while a blessing, costs a lot to run with gas. And, gotta, and it will not run both air conditionings. And yes, you skip three rocks. Oh, you see, oh, okay, okay. Well, good job skipping it three times. But you're not supposed to be throwing rocks. I was trying to make it in and then it skipped Delicious babies. Okay, so basically we are running a wire. We have found an outlet that's 50 amps in Pop Shop that he doesn't use. Darren is connecting it to put an outlet right uh, somewhere right in right in here we're going to put an outlet so that we can plug in directly to power and that will give us the ability to power all the plugs uh for the 120 volt that powers you know plug powers your cell phone and um the air purifier the laptop um our speakers you know, a vacuum whatever you would want to plug in those are, that's runoff power and then both air conditionings and the fridge so right now the fridge is being run off of propane and the propane also does the stove and i think that's it and the hot water heater is propane because it's an on-demand so we have several sources of power, but we need to really get plugged in because the gas has been expensive and Darren has to load it with gas every two to three hours. So there's a lot of, um, it's living in an RV is literally, or any kind of like system like this, where you are forced to understand your systems, understand your consumption, know what it takes to live. It is such a great experience. I highly recommend it for anybody because you are able to really take responsibility and kind of understand what it means to have to use all these amenities we don't even think about. I did not even think about any of these things. Um, and so what it takes to power that house is a lot different off this 30 amp um, vehicle, which is essentially a whole house. It's really amazing. So anyway, that's what we're doing. No. 
What? Put that, thank you, Salem. Put that back. Put that back, please, Salem, in the in the toolbox. Master mustard truck, he rocks and he rolls. I need that. I'm working. You know what I'm saying? That is so cute. That is so. Oh, we pop pop. I'm bringing this thing back. The that, legacy will live on. That is so cute. Now put the wire through. I'll connect the wires. I need the. Uh... Oh, Stole my line. We have nothing else in the RV except now a French press, a tea kettle, two spoons, coffee, and tea. And special water. And special water. That's all you need. Good morning. Where's my Tweety Tweety going? Bye-bye, Mercy. Bye-bye. You going to see Mimi? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. You going to see Mimi? From A to Z. My two blue-eyed pretty girls. The two blue-eyed blonde-haired twins. And they have curly hair. And the crush. Well. I got baby asleep. Darren took the kids to Home Depot so I can tackle this place. And we moved in in 45 minutes or so. And this needs to be addressed. But as a parent, if there's any parents out there with young children, as you know, life does not stop for you to get organized. <laughs> the kids do not stop. So I think this is the greatest gift I could have ever been given today is Darren taking the kids. So that means I need to get to work quickly.
Home Depot day with the kids. Yeah. Daddy's day out, huh? What y'all think about that? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. We made it. You did? Good job, Daddy. Like a little mama. Told you we could bring Zion. <laughs> All the, all the bikes with the green tags are mountain bikes. The green tags. Guys, my first bike, my first big bike was a Huffy. This, is, this says Huffy, this black one in Addie's color right there. That says Huffy. That was my first big bike. It was a Huffy. I yep. remember. I'll never forget my first big bike. And De Uncle DeAndre won't either because I rammed into his brand new bike. <laughs> Messed up his back tire. <laughs> it's horrible. Look at all these bikes, guys. I guess that's a silly question because I always Dad, look who the hell would I found. Wow. You know I need 28 inch wheel. Huh? I need 28 inch wheel. Chapman, did you think these mountain bikes were this big? They're big. Well, Dad, this is how big. A 24 inch wheel is. Is this thing that you put on a bike? That's right. Well, this is how big a 24 inch wheel is. Yeah, 24 is about, I think, where you guys should be at. No, but we watched a, we watched a video how to choose a bike and it said a four foot eight person Gabriella. needs a 24 inch. Gabriella. And that's why Chapman says he needs a 24 inch. Yeah, it says right there. It says rider height, four foot six to five foot six. What, how tall are y'all? Five foot four. Yeah, so you shouldn't have anything over 24 inches. Well, but why did that girl say that somebody f over five foot needs a 24, um, 27? I don't know what the video is. Groove in the siding. Yep. Mm -hmm. the toilet? Yeah. Oh, I'll do the poke thing again. I'll get the knife. <laughs> I got the hammer. Well, hello, Mr. Wire. <laughs> hello, Mr. Mama. Hello, Mr. Mama. Hello, Mr. Wire. Hello.